Ever found yourself wondering if there's more to financial success than just numbers and charts? True wealth is not a matter of bank accounts and assets, but of the heart and mind. If you're on a quest for not just financial prosperity, but a richer, more meaningful life, you've come to the right place. Subscribe to our channel now for insights that transform numbers on a screen into stepping stones for personal growth and fulfillment. Without further ado, let's embark on this journey together. 1. The Power of Perception Imagine this, you're scrolling through your bank account and the numbers aren't exactly singing a victory song. It's easy to feel like you're in a financial pit with no way out. But what if I told you that the real game changer in your wallet isn't more money, but a shift in how you see things? Here's a little secret from Marcus Aurelius, an ancient Stoic philosopher who knew a thing or two about life's ups and downs. It is not things that disturb us, but our interpretation of them. What does this mean for you and your finances? Simply put, it's not the balance in your bank account that defines your financial health. It's how you view and react to that balance. Let's break it down. Imagine facing a financial challenge, maybe an unexpected bill or a sudden drop in income. You have two choices. See this challenge as a roadblock, something that makes you feel stuck and helpless, or view it as a stepping stone, an opportunity to get creative with your budget, learn more about managing money, or find new ways to earn. This shift in perspective, from seeing challenges as obstacles to viewing them as opportunities, is like finding a hidden key to wealth. It's not about adding zeros to your bank statement overnight, but about growing, learning, and finding value in every situation. So the next time you're tempted to get down about your financial situation, remember true wealth starts in the mind. By changing how you perceive your financial challenges, you're taking the first, most crucial step towards building a richer life, both in your wallet and beyond. Let's embrace this power of perception together and turn our financial journeys into adventures of growth and discovery. 2. The virtue of self-control as stoic principles for financial prosperity. Have you ever felt like you're on a never-ending treadmill, working hard but somehow never getting ahead financially? It's a common feeling, and often, the missing piece of the puzzle is not how much you earn, but how you manage what you have. This brings us to a powerful lesson from Epictetus, a wise Stoic philosopher who famously said, Only the educated are free. Now, he wasn't just talking about book smarts, he was highlighting the importance of understanding our own desires and impulses. Let's talk about self-control, but not the kind that stops you from eating that extra slice of pizza. We're diving into financial self-control. This isn't about piling up mountains of cash or living so frugally you count every penny twice. It's about freedom, yes, freedom. The freedom to choose your financial destiny because you've mastered the art of controlling your desires and impulses, not letting them control you. Think about it. Every time you resist the urge to splurge on something you don't need, you're taking a step towards financial freedom. It's not about cutting all the fun out of your life. It's about making conscious choices that align with your long-term goals and happiness. Budgeting, often seen as a dreaded task, is your ticket out of the endless cycle of desire. It's not a restriction, it's a tool for liberation. By embracing the virtue of self-control, you're not just saving money, you're investing in your freedom, you're educating yourself on the difference between a want and a need, and in doing so, you're paving the way for a future where financial worries don't dictate your life choices. So, let's reframe how we view budgeting and self-control, not as chains that bind us, but as wings that free us. 3. The importance of resilience as stoic principles for financial prosperity. Ever hit a financial bump so big, you thought you'd never recover? 
Whether it's an unexpected bill, a job loss, or an investment gone wrong, we've all been there. It's like navigating through a storm, unsure if we'll ever see clear skies again. But here's a nugget of wisdom from Nietzsche, a philosopher who wasn't afraid to tackle life's toughest challenges head on. What does not destroy us makes us stronger. This thought, deeply rooted in Stoic philosophy, is a powerful reminder of the importance of resilience in our financial lives. Resilience isn't about avoiding setbacks. It's about how we bounce back from them. It's that inner strength that turns every financial storm into a masterclass in personal growth. Think of it as the financial fluency you gain after surviving and learning from a budget blunder or the confidence boost you get after bouncing back from a bad investment. The truth is, financial setbacks are not just inevitable. They're necessary. They teach us, test us, and ultimately, they strengthen us. Your path isn't defined by the number of times you stumble, but by the strength you show each time you stand back up. Building financial resilience means embracing adversity as an opportunity to learn, grow, and fortify your financial strategy. So, the next time you face a financial challenge, remember, it's not the end of your story. It's just a twist in the plot. Each setback is a step toward building a stronger, more resilient you. Let's transform our financial storms into lessons of strength, one challenge at a time. 4. The Art of Simplicity as Stoic Principles for Financial Prosperity in a world where more always seems like the answer, it's time to take a step back and consider the wisdom of Seneca, a Stoic philosopher who knew a thing or two about the good life. He taught us that true happiness doesn't come from filling our lives with possessions, but from finding balance and contentment with what we have. It's a lesson in simplicity, but don't mistake it for a call to austerity. Instead, it's an invitation to richness but perhaps not in the way you're used to thinking about it. Imagine looking at your life and finances through a lens of simplicity. This doesn't mean you should deny yourself enjoyment or live with the bare minimum. Rather, it's about trimming the fat, focusing on what truly matters, and recognizing that sometimes having too much can be just as burdensome as having too little. It's about understanding that a balanced soul leads to a happy life, not the other way around. But how does one embrace simplicity in a world that screams excess at every turn? Start by evaluating what you really need versus what you've been conditioned to want. Do you need the latest gadget or do you want it because it's what's expected? By shifting your mindset to appreciate what you have and focusing on the essentials, you'll find that not only does your financial situation improve, but so does your overall sense of well-being. Simplicity in your finances could mean consolidating debts, creating a budget that prioritizes your well-being, or even choosing experiences over things. It's a liberating practice that cuts through the noise, allowing you to focus on what truly enriches your life. So, let's take a page from Seneca's book and seek abundance not in our checkbooks, but in our hearts. By embracing simplicity, we unlock the door to a more fulfilling, balanced, and genuinely happy life. It's not about having less for the sake of it, it's about needing less and loving every bit of it. 5. The Courage to Change as Stoic Principles for Financial Prosperity. In a world where change is the only constant, it's easy to feel adrift, especially when it comes to navigating the often turbulent waters of financial markets. Here's where the ancient wisdom of Stoicism can serve as a beacon, guiding us towards the shores of stability and prosperity. Stoicism, a philosophy that has stood the test of time, teaches us a vital lesson, the importance of recognizing what's in our power to change and what's not. Imagine standing at the helm of your financial ship, 
facing the vast ocean of possibilities and risks. The Stoics would say that the courage to change your financial habits is like setting the sails in the right direction. It's about understanding that while we can't control the direction of the wind, we can adjust our sails. This principle isn't just a philosophical musing, it's a practical strategy for personal finance. But what does having the courage to change really mean? It's not about making rash decisions in the heat of the moment or trying to time the market, a feat that even seasoned investors find challenging. Instead, it's about making thoughtful, deliberate changes to how we manage our money. It's deciding to save a little more each month, investing in learning about financial markets, or even just starting to budget if you haven't already. This courage isn't about bravado or going it alone. It's about seeking advice when needed, learning from mistakes, and most importantly, being willing to adapt. By embracing the stoic mindset, you empower yourself to take control of what you can, your actions and reactions, and let go of worrying about what you can't control, such as market fluctuations or the economy's ups and downs. So let the Stoic philosophy inspire you to have the courage to change your financial habits. This isn't about making monumental shifts overnight, but rather about making small, consistent changes that over time can lead you towards financial resilience and independence. Remember, in the unpredictable seas of the financial world, your ability to adapt and change is your greatest asset. 6. The wisdom of reflection as stoic principles for financial prosperity. Take a moment each day to reflect on your financial decisions. Epictetus advises, examine yourself daily. What lessons did you learn? What can you do better tomorrow? This daily reflection hones your wisdom and guides your financial journey. 7. The value of contentment as stoic principles for financial prosperity. True happiness comes from contentment, not wealth. Epictetus teaches us to find joy in what we have, rather than pining for what we don't. This doesn't mean settling, but rather appreciating your current state as you work towards your goals. 8. The strength of perspective as stoic principles for financial prosperity. Epictetus also said, I am not concerned with what happens, but how I react to it. Financial markets will fluctuate, but your inner peace need not. Maintain perspective. Your reaction to financial ups and downs defines your success more than the outcomes themselves. 9. The mastery of emotions as stoic principles for financial prosperity. In the roller coaster world of finance, emotions often run high. The thrill of a stock soaring or the panic as it plummets can lead us down a path of impulsive decisions driven by fear or greed. But here's a timeless piece of wisdom from Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic emperor and philosopher who teaches us about the mastery of emotions. He encourages us to not be swayed by external events but to control our reactions to them. This is not just sage advice for life but a crucial strategy in navigating the financial markets. Emotional mastery in finance isn't about suppressing your feelings. It's about acknowledging them and then making informed, rational decisions rather than reactive ones. Imagine you're watching your investment dip. The instinct might be to sell everything and cut your losses, driven by fear. Or perhaps a stock is skyrocketing and greed whispers in your ear to invest all your savings to not miss out. Both scenarios are emotional traps that can derail your financial stability. But what if you had a shield? A shield forged from the mastery of your emotions, allowing you to observe these market fluctuations with calmness and clarity. This shield doesn't make the volatility disappear, but it gives you the strength to face it without panic, to assess the situation logically and to act according to your long-term financial plan, not a fleeting emotion. 
Mastering your emotions means stepping back, breathing deeply, and remembering your financial goals. It's about having a plan and sticking to it, even when every fiber of your being wants to react immediately. This skill, like any other, takes practice. Start small. Observe your emotional responses to financial news or market changes and practice responding with thoughtfulness rather than impulsivity. In essence, the mastery of emotions is about cultivating a sense of inner peace that can weather any storm the markets might throw your way. It's your anchor in the tumultuous sea of finance, ensuring that you remain steady no matter how choppy the waters get. Remember, in the realm of investing, being emotionally intelligent is just as important as being financially savvy. 10. The path to tranquility as stoic principles for financial prosperity. Seneca teaches us that tranquility comes when we stop wanting things to be different. Accept your financial situation while working diligently towards your goals. This acceptance is the foundation of a peaceful and prosperous life. As we draw the curtains on this journey through the stoic principles of financial wisdom, remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. Lao Tzu This ancient saying not only echoes the essence of our exploration, but also serves as a beacon for the path ahead. We've navigated through the power of perception, the virtue of self-control, the undeniable strength found in resilience, the liberating art of simplicity, and the transformative courage to change. Each principle a stepping stone towards not just financial prosperity, but a life enriched with meaning, balance, and fulfillment. I encourage you, dear viewer, to revisit this video, not just once, but multiple times. Each viewing can unveil new insights, deepen your understanding, and strengthen your resolve to apply these timeless teachings to your daily life. The wisdom contained within these principles is not just for contemplation, but for action. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and join a community committed to not just achieving financial success, but mastering the art of living well. Together, Let's transform the numbers on our screens into milestones on a journey towards a richer, more profound existence. Without further ado, take this knowledge, let it seep into your actions and decisions, and watch as the landscape of your life transforms. Here's to your journey towards financial enlightenment and beyond. Remember, true wealth is a symphony of the heart and mind, playing in harmony with the universe. Thank you for embarking on this journey with us. Stay tuned, stay inspired, and above all, stay on the path to becoming the wealthiest version of yourself in every sense of the word.